Oh, hello YouTube. Thanks for watching this video and this channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving it a thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe if you like the content. Today, we're gonna go over the last of the series, the gear I'm gonna take out on the PCT this year in 2022. So let's get into it. All right, well, let's uh, start with something a little bit unconventional in terms of gear videos. And I'm not really a big gear video kind of guy in that I go through all of my stuff per se. I did that with the High Sierra Trail. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to steal some ideas from other people on YouTube and just take things out of my pack and show you what it is I'm gonna take for the start of the PCT. It's not gonna be the entirety, not gonna be the Sierra section, it's not gonna be Oregon or Washington, if I make it that far, this is just what I'm going to start out with starting from Campo or the Mexican American border and going north. So I will uh, list down below my lighter pack link. I'm not going to go through every single item and the weight uh, that's already on my lighter pack. So you can just go down there and see that <clears throat> some of those I have links to in the lighter pack. So you can see exactly what you know, website if you want to purchase something. Uh, I guess it goes without saying in a way, but I don't have any affiliate links or any sponsorships or anything like that. Nobody's really caring about that anyway with me. So they've got Darwin and Dixie and everybody else and you know, for that. So no one's gonna you know, sponsor me. Um, so with that, I'll start with the clothing and then I'm gonna go to the gear. So let's just dive right in. Pretty typical stuff here. Um, I'm gonna have Ultra Lone Peak 5 shoes, and I'll show you that here in a second. These, I have the uh, lime uh, green. I like these, I like the color, so uh, I went with it. Bought several pairs of these with the Dr. Scholl's plantar fasciitis insoles. That's what helps me the most. I've had name brand uh, Superfeet. Uh, I've had custom orthotics. Uh, they just don't really seem to work for me and the best has been Dr. Scholl's, so go figure. But anyway, uh, those are the shoes I'll be taking. Uh, pretty standard, uh, I, th I think for a lot of people, they either have Darn Tough or Njinji. I like Njinji, so I'm gonna go with the Njinji trail socks. Have several pairs and then the tr uh, Ultra Gators. I don't have Dirty Girl or anything like that for Gators, so um, just going with that works for me. It's worked for a few hundred miles now, so not gonna change it up. <clears throat> Something that is new to me this year though, are these compression sleeves. So I'm gonna go with the compression sleeves. It's really helped me out on my training hikes. It's really helped with my recovery. And this is from Rymora. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's nice and tight, but not too tight. And it really helped me out here this last training hike, especially when my calves were really feeling it. I was really not doing so hot there. So. I'm gonna go with the compression sleeves for my legs. I'm gonna wear those and probably alternate back and forth. And then in terms of actual clothing, so this is gonna be my base layer set. These are the, excuse me, these are the Patagonia uh, running shorts with the, the liner that's sewn in. Now I don't like the liner, it sometimes chafes me, so I've actually cut the liner out. But these are the nine inch shorts, I believe, from Patagonia. And I like them because they have the zippers for the pockets and the back pocket. So you can make sure that your things don't get lost if you fall, especially. So I'm gonna go with those for the shorts. And then for base layers is I'm gonna use this Patagonia uh, white shirt. I'm gonna use as light of colors as I can for the most part so I can get through the desert section and not attract so much heat. But uh, this shirt I took with me on the High Sierra Trail. So this is works out perfectly. Um, I usually wear this as my base. <clears throat> Switch it out also. Um, with this Anetic, it's a sun hoodie. And I really like the sun hoodie. It's got a, a pocket here in the front, but it also has a pocket here on the back. So it's, it's on the back side of you. Um, you can put your sunglasses in there. I put my earbuds and such in here. Um, you could even get away with like a small trail wallet if you had to put it up there on your chest, but otherwise uh, you do that on the back side. It's a nice uh, sun hoodie from Anetic, and that's uh, A-N-E-T-I-K. And uh, I've really enjoyed having this. It's not hot at all. In fact, if anything, it's very much cooling 
and it has kept me uh, protected from the sun because I'm not going to take that much sunscreen. And then the last so far for the clothing, this is going to be uh, my puffy. So this is, I think probably everybody uh, is familiar with this one. It's the Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex. So I've had this for a couple of years and it's done me very well. It's fantastic. It packs down super, super lightweight and super packable. So uh, you can definitely get this into your pack and uh, you know fill up those empty dead spaces. <clears throat> so that's pretty much what I'm gonna take for the clothing. I'm not, oh, I'll take an extra pair of trail socks. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, have an extra pair of trail socks and camp socks so my feet will be dry. But that's pretty much it. So we'll just unpack my pack. Uh, starting with though, get this out of the way, and I've been training with extra weight. I'm taking two two liter hydro pack uh, water bottles or water packs. This way I can get through the desert section. My maximum carry is gonna be six liters of water. That's pretty heavy. Uh, I don't know if I'll need all six, but I'm gonna have six just in case. I understand the desert can be very, very brutally hot. So six liters, I'm taking two of these. <clears throat> And let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, well, I'll just get the water out of the way. I'm taking this one uh, smart water bottle. This will be my clean water and exclusively clean. So I'm not gonna have a filter for it. And I don't like those pop tops because I always end up breaking them. I always do, so screw tops gonna be fine. The other water bottle, this is from Knock Outdoors, the same one that makes that water bladder, the two and three liter water bladder. From Knock, essentially what this is, is two pieces of plastic with their sleeve that they have. They just basically uh, seal it together, so it just seals together. And I bought the 42 millimeter wide mouth for the Be Free. I'm taking the Be Free filter. It just has a better flow rate and it's easier to clean. So you literally just, it's made for this. And I got it from Lightsmith. You just screw it in and you can go ahead and filter and it keeps the pressure so you don't have to undo it like you did before with this with the smart water bottles you just squeeze down till it's done um, i'll do a video review on this one because i definitely have some thoughts about this but um, that's what i'm going to use for the water so <clears throat> that's my water situation uh, let's see go ahead and get through the rest here i'll start from the outside work in uh, my pack that I'm taking is Z-Pax Arc Hall. It's their 62 liter, I believe, but they go with the Z-Pax Arc Hall. From there, I've just got these uh, Black Diamond trekking poles. Had these for a few years now, and they just work fantastic, so I'm not going to change that up. Um, there are lighter options out there. Uh, this is the one, uh, this is telescoping. It's not carbon fiber, I don't really need that. Um, so those are my trekking poles. Here, this is the uh, Z-Pax Lotus uh, Ultralight Sun Umbrella because it is gonna be so darn hot. I am going to uh, take this with me. And then on the last, on the outside here, I had this, uh, I think on my food episode, food video, but this is just, uh, straight up lightsmith jar with a cleaning cloth inside of it. I'm gonna do a lot of cold soaking and just nuts and sh coconut shreds and such like that. So I'm going to try to go as light as I can and comfortable as I can. So this is my food jar. Pretty much on the outside. Oh, so a couple of things um, about this pack here. So I've been noticing that this water bottle attachment has been kind of rubbing me the wrong way, literally. And I've, I've noticed some, maybe a, a slight issue with my right shoulder. So I might ditch this, I might not, I don't know. Um, the other, only other things to know or see for the outside here is is uh, I've got this Purell hand sanitizer attachment and then the uh, Thermodrop, that little thermometer that uh, Everyone's sort of raving about, it's expensive, um, but I had a gift card, so I was able to use that gift card money, so it was free for free-ish. Um, it works pretty well, but I'll probably have to do a review on that one too. Um, 
But that's that's the outside thus far. So let me go ahead and just show you what else I've got. In terms of the the weather, uh, I'm definitely thinking about what you know could happen. I have the enlightened equipment, uh, the enlightened equipment rain jacket, love it, and I have the Z-Pax uh, rain pants. I believe this is the Virtus rain pants and the Visp rain jacket. Uh, but this is ultra light and it keeps me warm, surprisingly. Uh, keep me warm up, warmish up on Whitney. So going through the rest of the side here, um, this is just a sponge for the end of the day, clean myself off. I'm taking with me from the start a bug net. It's like 0.7 ounces. It's worth it to me. I've had problems with mosquitoes before and just bugs that bother the hell out of me. So bringing that. Uh, toilet paper. Trash bag for my waist. The Deuce of Spades uh, trowel, number two. I haven't converted over to uh, bidets yet. May never. And then these are just my uh, tent stakes. Uh, I have a tent that will package up or will show, I have a tent that I'll show here in a second, but those are my tent stakes. Um, these uh, hip pockets on the uh, arc hall are huge. And I ordered two. And I had this done a couple of years ago. So if you go through this, so for example, I have ibuprofen and salt tab that I'll wear in my pocket on my shorts. So that'll be sort of worn weight, consumable worn weight. And then I'm going to have this uh, <clears throat> Arnicare roll-on balm for my feet, because I'm afraid of that pain. And then the last items here, just a body glide. It's the 0.35 ounces, a small stick, it's just some chapstick, which is uh, SPF 50, got some banana bow, but also got some sun bums as well, so I switch them out. And a sun bum face uh, sunscreen stick. So going pretty light with that. Um, oh, the one thing I didn't mention, and I'll probably come back to it, is I have a sun hat as well from Outdoor Research. So I'll have a sun hat, sun hoodie, and an umbrella for that uh, scorching sun. And then also I'll have uh, these outdoor research, outdoor research sun gloves. Keep that in there. I've got this ultralight Dyneema, uh, if you will, uh, wallet. I got it off Etsy store. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but if you just go to Etsy and look, you can find them pretty easy. Um, and then I've got this uh, lens cloth, really for my glasses, my sunglasses. I have this... Uh, Bivy stick, which I've done review videos of that, so I'll go ahead and uh, put that up in the cards. And then just uh, a quick little, uh, what's it called, Snow Peak Spork. So just something doesn't take up much room. So that's all on the outside there. So yep, everything's good to go. When I did sort of fashion my own ice axe attachments, but I'm thinking I'm not gonna need it this year. And this, I want to get back to it soon. This is the Outdoor Research Sun Hat. I do have that attachment that comes here and drapes over, and I will be wearing that with it. So I'll have plenty of protection from the sun. All right, so getting into the good stuff now. I'm gonna start from the top, literally. This is my Tarp Tent Pro Trail Lithium, or Pro Trail Lee. It comes in at like 17.7 ounces with those stakes I showed you. So I love this tent, it's been great to me, so I'm trying to go for the lightest I can and the easiest setup that I possibly can. Next is my other pair of Njinji socks, like I t said before, a buff that I can wear around my neck and also it doubles as a pillowcase. And here is the pillow. <clears throat> it is the Dream Sleeper from Big Sky. Super ultra lightweight and it cradles your head and your neck. And then for food, um, this is gonna be kind of a, a rotating system. So what I'm gonna have for the desert for sure is I'm gonna have my op sack and I covered this in the other video with my food bag, my Z-Pax food, big food bag. So I'll have that 
for my food to begin with and then switch it out with the bear canister for the Sierras. Uh, let's see, okay, almost done, promise. So this is my med kit, also my electronics bag. So this is just a roll top from Light AF or Lightsmith, no, Light, Light AF. Um, Garmin extra cord, which is an electronics video. Got my night core. It's the NU something something. Anyway, it's the night core headlamp. So we've got that. I have in here, I have my med kit. So it's got tweezers. It's got some Imodium. It's got KT tape. It's got earplugs. It's got uh, nail clippers. It's got floss. It's got band-aids, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a little derma razor, a thin razor, that's what I'm gonna take for a knife. So this is all I have for my med kit. Probably a little bit too much. And then just, you know, the stuff I had before in the electronics episode, check that out. Um, but this is just my four to one cord along with my anchor power bank, my 13,000 milliamp hour, milliamp hour bank, which is only like 10,500 usable and then my anchor wall charger. And that's it, that's that's all there is for that. A couple of things, uh, just ex officio underwear to sleep in, and then a foam, uh, it's called a trigger point foam ball, got it off of Amazon to roll out my feet and my calves, and also my shins. Fantastic, I really enjoy this guy. I know everyone does like the Rology cork ball, but couldn't hardly get it. So you're probably hearing all this rust, rustling. My pack liner is the Nylofume uh, pack liner. It's the lightest one. It's also 100% waterproof. It is really noisy though, so that's that's really the only downside to it. And uh, full disclosure, I have had these break on me, those Nylofume break on me before. So I ordered a pack, uh, I think three pack. So in terms of sleep, this is gonna be my Thermarest x Lite. Um, it's the wide, the 25 incher, cause I really hate it when my elbows fall off the side. I don't like that. And this just barely, barely is wide enough for me. So, and it's the new one that has the wing lock. So it's really uh, pretty nice and I enjoy it works for me. And then last but not least, my Enlightened Equipment Enigma 10 degree. So I've had this for a while, 10 degree custom color, uh, really, really warm. So this will be my sleeping pad or sleeping pad, sleeping quilt, my quilt for the entirety of the PCT, likely, unless it gets so warm. I have a 30 degree, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it. I'll probably just do the 10 the entire way if I make it the entire way. Camp socks to sleep in. And then the very last thing is the uh, silk. It's, a, it's actually a silk cotton blend. It's a quilt liner. So I can't remember if it's, I think it's C to, C, C to Summit. Uh, this is where I got them. So anyway, yep, this is, this is like my, my big thing here. So uh, that's it. That's all the equipment. That's all I'm taking with me to start with. My base weight, check it out on lighter pack. It says it's 11.56. My scale has it heavier than that. So I'm not really sure uh, if I'm, where I'm missing stuff. But that's it, guys. So... Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment and question below. I'm not gonna have much cell service. You're gonna see this when I'm out there on trails. So, cause I'm, I'm delaying the publication of it. I won't be able to respond for quite a while, very likely quite a while. So be patient if you do ask questions or something like that um, for me to get back to you. But hopefully this will last me at least through the summer or the summer, the Sierra section and it'll get me up to Kennedy Meadows and then I will have my bear canister shipped there and I will um, have my other equipment, micro spikes and such if I needed this year. Um, 
and then we'll see how far it takes me. But that's it. So, all right, well, I don't want to ramble on any further. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, like I said. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming by. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate that. Didn't really ever think anybody would want to watch this stuff, especially me. So uh, before I really sign off, I'm not going to be making videos from the trail. That's not going to happen. I don't want to do that. I will record. I will do a daily, if I can, uh, recording like a digital diary. But, and I said this in the other video, but I don't want to be one of those YouTubers out there on trail. I don't, I don't want to distract from the actual experience. So I'm going to uh, do all that after the fact. But in any event, like I said, hope you found some value in this and I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If there is a next video. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew.